Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Cece, and this is Rewrite the Cycle. Today, I want to talk about Gwyneth Berry. Gwyneth Berry is a transgender runner in the U.S. Olympics. They decided to do something really revolutionary, and during the national anthem, they decided to turn their back towards the flag and refuse to participate in the national anthem. First of all, if you don't love America, you should not be representing America in the U.S. Olympics. Second of all, the more and more that this goes on, it helps Americans decide what side they're on. Either the ungrateful, incompetent, unreasonable, whiny brats of America, or the American patriots who are logical and reasonable and understand that we have sinned in our past, but the only thing we can do is move forward and be the best that we can be. There are plenty of grateful Americans who would love to be part of the US Olympics. However, Gwyneth Berry is not one of them. Gwyneth Berry has fallen victim to that leftist mindset where out of the thousands of years of human history, they decide to ignore all of that and only focus on a very small part of it in order to remain outraged angry and miserable. Gwyneth Berry is a fool and the American people are gonna move on without her or them. There are so many people around the world who are willing to put their lives at risk and their families' lives at risk to become an American citizen. What Gwyneth Berry fails to acknowledge is American founders did something revolutionary that was unheard of during that time. They had a biblical worldview that believed that we are all God's children, we are all created equal under God, and that slavery is sin and disobedience of God. Our founders were onto something that no one dared to think about during that time, and that is to abolish slavery a practice that went on for thousands of years. Nobody knew anything different. It's pretty incredible. Gwyneth Berry also fails to acknowledge that Africans sold their own fellow Africans into slavery. The slave trade was a normal part of human history for thousands of years. All races and ethnicities partake in the slave trade. Slavery could very well exist today if it wasn't for our American founders. These brave men decided to break a thousand year practice of slavery because they believed in God and under God we are all created equal and that slavery is sin and disobedience of God. This is where morality comes in. And in the 2021 right now, we are completely forgetting what is moral and what is immoral. And that is on purpose. There is a psychological war going on, but we really have to take a step back and start focusing on morality and immorality because skin color doesn't matter. Sexuality doesn't matter. What we care about is your content of character and whether you're a moral person or not. But with this leftist mindset that Gwyneth Berry has, you're just a brainwashed puppet. You're easily controlled. You don't critically think. You can't have any logical conversations with anyone. All you do is disrespect your country, disrespect your flag. Even when you're in the Olympics representing your country, you think it's okay to turn your back to its flag. And you think you're doing something revolutionary. That's indoctrination. That's brainwashing. So here's a quote that I read from the Wall Builders website. The fruit of changed thinking and action, which comes from rooting sin out of our lives, may take time to see. This is true historically from removing slavery from the Christian world. So with this worldview came American independence, and from there, great steps were taken down the path of ending slavery. As a person or nation more fully applies the principles of Christianity, there will be increasing freedom in every realm of life. And that's true. And sadly, in the year 2021, we are going the opposite direction, where we're becoming more immoral as a country. And we're forgetting about God, and we, people are not having those Christian principles that we once had. Everybody knows that we are not as free as we once were. It's sad we have a lot of work to do, but there's so many American patriots who love this country and are willing to fight for the freest country in the world, and we owe it to our founders to do just that. We also can't forget that this isn't about skin color. This is about content of character and immorality versus morality. It's about good versus evil. How do people like Gwyneth Berry or other woke social justice warriors 
How do they think slavery was eventually abolished or segregation was ended? There's good people of all races and ethnicities and there's bad people of all races and ethnicities. It's good versus evil. Skin color is irrelevant. Many white men were lynched and lost their lives alongside black people in fighting to end slavery. But people like Gwyneth Berry and this leftist mindset, they refuse to acknowledge any of this. Because all they want to do is to have a reason to continue to be angry, emotional, hateful, and miserable. Your skin color, your race, and your sexuality should not define you. In America, America is one of the only countries that was founded on Judeo-Christian values. And Judeo-Christian values believe that we are all equal under God. And therefore, we are all born with God-given constitutional rights, which are the Bill of Rights in the Constitution. Meaning that no government, no one in power, especially tyrants in government, can take those rights away from you. That is what makes America so great. That is what makes America one of the freest countries in the world, is because America was founded on the principles that we are all born free because we are all God's children. Gwyneth Berry worked hard enough to make it into the U.S. Olympics. In America, Gwyneth Berry had the opportunity to do so. In America in 2020, there are no laws in place that white people can do that black people can't. There is vice versa, however, like affirmative action, which is for another video. But I don't know why Gwyneth Berry is allowing themselves to be so brainwashed and indoctrinated, but this person should embrace the fact that they've made it into the US Olympics. It's such an honorable achievement. Instead, they just look like a fool who's ungrateful and frankly ignorant and incompetent. Well, that's it for this video. God bless America. God bless American patriots. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.